Ah, testing, testing. One, two, three. Okay. You gotta fight for your right. To fight. Hi guys, Gel Daddy here. It's time to have a conversation with you about something really important, and I need you guys to hear this entire video and then share it because it's the only way that we are going to make an impact and we need to make an impact now. As you know, recently it was revealed that South Australian police had made a decision to over-regulate gel blasters. They gave only 24 hours notice, or less even, which meant that all small businesses in South Australia that operated in the gel blaster industry were now unable to trade outside of that 24 hour period. This decision reflects the idea that police services in Australia do not work in the best interests of the people. In fact, in South Australia, it is apparent that they are lazily avoiding doing their jobs by simply over-regulating toy guns in order to reduce the amount of work that they do. South Australia is rife with violent crime, drugs and theft, but they seem to focus on their one major pre-election move, which is simply outlawing plastic toys. Not to mention, the argument that they compress air is a complete joke. All models of gel blaster that fit within the definition provided within Schedule 1 of the Gazette that was released to enforce this so-called ban were already illegal in South Australia and could not be found on the shelves of their blaster stores. I do however have some good news for South Australian enthusiasts, but it is going to require the support of the entire industry, so please hear me out. As many of you know, on the 31st of October, we will be voting for the state election. In Australia, we have six states and three internal territories as well as seven external territories. Of these major internal territories, there are five Labor states and three Liberal states, with the majority vote for the last state election putting the Liberal National Party or LNP in power and electing an LNP Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. In Queensland, we have the Australian Labor Party in power. In Western Australia, we again have the Australian Labor Party in power. In the ACT, we have the Australian Labor Party in power. And in Victoria, we have the Australian Labor Party in power. In the ACT, gel blasters were tolerated, but there were not any efforts to stop them when the Australian Federal Police, who liked to hang out down there, chucked a tantrum causing them to essentially spread a lie to everybody saying that they were banned within the Australian Capital Territory. In Western Australia, we have a motion in Parliament for airsoft and gel blasters are being tolerated though there are no set laws or regulations in place. In Victoria, gel blasters are inherently illegal due to the appearance laws but there is also a movement for airsoft happening there at this very moment. In prior discussions with a member of the Northern Territories Department of Police Prosecution, I found out that gel blasters were in fact not banned or illegal unless a crime is committed, which includes going armed to incite fear, much like Queensland is. However, there was apparently laws that do prohibit the sale or import of gel blasters into the Northern Territory, but these were essentially tolerated within the state. In Queensland, the Australian Labor Party actually helped set up the gel blaster industry to self-regulate under loose guidelines that were set by a weapons licensing branch, but they were not licensed. Queensland is currently the nervous system for gel blasters in Australia and have the strongest industry and the largest population of enthusiasts. This only happened because the community saw what happened in the Australian Capital Territory and they made so much noise when they came for them in Queensland that the higher-ups came down hard on the Police Minister for Queensland, Mr Mark Ryan, and basically said fix this, so he did. Why did I bring this up? Because the states that are currently raiding people, charging them for possession of real firearms and outright refusing to allow them under any circumstances at all, sit under the belt of the Liberal National Party, and it includes our dear cousins in Tasmania who responsibly play with sci-fi blasters due to the appearance laws, who have also recently been put under duress by their government. So, why is this important? This is important because we have the opportunity to do what Queensland did only on a larger scale, and no, you don't have to vote one for Labour. I am right now asking the entire gel blaster community and airsoft community and any sympathizers from any other background such as small business owners or paintballers or anybody else who thinks that this is good for people, mental health physically or otherwise, 
parents who have children who have gotten off video games, family members who have, you know, brothers or sisters or sons or daughters who are veterans who are dealing with their PTSD thanks to the soft immersion this sport can offer. I want all of you guys, as well as firearm owners or supporters, to take a really verbal stand in every state and every territory, not just South Australia. I want you to contact your local LNP MPs via email and I want you to tell them that you will not vote for them or anyone preferencing them because of what South Australian Police has done to our community in South Australia under the LNP government. Maybe to you this seems silly, but to us in Queensland it changed everything overnight. This has to be done now because by the end of the month the polls will open and then they will close. Here's another thought. Do you guys own a small business? And do you like the idea of somebody being able to just shut you down overnight under threat of imprisonment? Maybe you'll c consider the fact that that sounds a little fascist. It, it's the kind of thing inherent of a dictatorship. And perhaps you'd like to consider doing this too. Yeah, I know, it seems like a lot of unnecessary hassle to go and send email to somebody. Uh, might not make a difference, right? Well, I just want to remind you again that we all did it in Queensland and it made a difference. So if we all do it again, it will make a difference. You're probably asking me, who do I vote for then? You know what, you vote for the people whose policies and history speaks for their credibility. I can't tell you who to vote for because my, my impressions may not be in line with yours. Uh, however, I suggest you send an extremely strong message to the people who are, you know, walking hand in hand with those who you know, just completely destroyed an industry of hard-working, fun-loving people. And, and, and uh, look, I watched the um, police report, uh, the police uh, media release, sorry, and he states in it that there was 180 incidents um, total within two years. Over 100, 180 reports so far that have caused us concern. Over how long? Over about two years. Two years. Many of those incidents could simply be police call-outs for people who did not know what their neighbours were holding. Just like it was in Queensland, except in Queensland, uh, within less than a 12 month period, there was something like 360 incidents or more, I think, and yet we get it regulated here. Again, I'd like to point out that this just seems like police officers who don't want to work as police officers because it's too fucking hard. Anyway, I personally in Queensland will be voting for people who are not preferencing the Greens or the Liberal National Party this year. So for me in Queensland, it'll be the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party, the Kappa, uh, Kata Australia Party, the One Nation Party, and the Liberal Democrats Party. After that, I'll probably flick some votes into Labor, uh, but I do suggest that all of you go and read the policies for each if you aren't sure. But if you don't give a shit about your vote and you really just want to make this happen, I'm telling you now, make the threats and follow through with it. Uh, as you can see, the parties that I mentioned there, uh, I guess in most states in Australia, you will find shooters, fishers and farmers, One Nation and Liberal Democrats. All of these guys work really hard for, um, for a lot of the stuff that we are invested in as a community. Uh, we have enough liberties taken in Australia and we have all the laws and structures to punish people for um, doing the wrong thing. So I do not understand why they just go and completely destroy an industry like that. Uh, I personally, working in this industry, know for a fact that we barely took a hit. Um, during all this COVID stuff, there was maybe two or two to four really slow weeks and then it just came back. Um, we didn't struggle. We didn't suffer. We had fuck all problems. And, and why would you destroy an industry like that in a country that's trying to survive an economic crisis? It just makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, so here, you know, in, for South Australia, you guys, I would definitely be supporting the Liberal Democrats because they definitely support you and they've been very verbal about that. Uh, if you're in Western Australia, I would support them too because I believe it's the Liberal Democrats that are currently trying to push an airsoft bill through, which is kind of cool. Um, in every state in Australia, I want you guys to find your local MP and their office email. And you can do that by using Google, guys. So come pull your fingers out. You don't need to worry about any of that. Then I want you to tell them why we as a united front will not be supporting them, okay? 
These votes determined the new party in power and I don't think that they will take it lightly when an entire community that is made up of hundreds of thousands of people and their family members are threatening to boycott them for fascist behaviour of their police commissioner in South Australia. Okay, I think that this is a good shot. And on top of that, just a little Easter egg in the end here, there is a final point for everyone in South Australia. And this is the biggest point, and I don't think anybody has told you yet, so you do need to listen to this, okay? There's a big golden buzzer for all of you guys right now to undo everything. Your Liberal Democrat Party members, um, your Australian Labor Party MPs, they need to hear from you also through, through email, but you're not telling them you're boycotting them. Here's what you can tell them. There's still time to sway your vote. They can put in motion, uh, sorry, they can put in a motion to disallow the ruling on gel blasters and they actually have the ability to do this from Tuesday when the next sitting of parliament is in South Australia and then for the next month. Um, so if you want my advice, get them to pull their fingers out before the actual election begins so you, you know, you can maybe get some votes on the table for them. Um, as far as they're concerned, at least, that's that's a pretty big deal. So yeah, if they put in this motion to disallow, um, they actually have the ability to shut that down. So fill up their emails with pleas to save not only your sport, uh, but you're also putting in there uh, requests for them to help save the small business owners in our industry and their employees, some of whom have families and are now suddenly jobless without an income. Who thought that it was a good idea to do that when our nation sits on the brink of recession? It's not okay. Uh, look, I am going to do some research and throw some links for the emails of MPs in SA so that you guys in South Australia can email them about getting the motion to disallow the ruling on gel blasters in play, okay? I would be contacting Liberal Democrats and the Australian Labor Party and saying that we will stand behind them in this election if they can make that happen. They can do that on Tuesday and they've got another day or two there that I think that they can do that before the election also. Um, but I would really push for this to happen on Tuesday. So you need to do it from today. You have to email these guys from the moment you get off watching this video, all right? And I want you to share the shit out of this. It's the only way that we can reverse this decision. If we can't, who's to say that Queensland won't be next? And if Queensland is next, if we're losing states, okay, and we're not making progress, how are you guys in other states like Victoria and New South Wales ever going to be able to sit back and, and, and enjoy a blaster that you bought from a 10 minute drive down the road. You guys will literally be in your home living in fear because your plastic toy could put you in jail for 10 years. Do you want to live in a country like that? Because I don't and I think it's about time we stand up to it. Thank you.